This is ABTV, Animal Bites Television. For animal lovers, by animal lovers. Spring is here. This is what most people picture when you say spring. Flowers blooming, birds hatching, and fawns playing in the meadows. But here's what I think of when you say spring. Snake catching, tortoise chomping, iguanas basking, gators bellowing, and ball python eggs being laid. I'm Greg Graziani, retired law enforcement officer and professional reptile breeder with a passion for wildlife. You know, for me, the only time of the year that's better than spring is hatching season in late summer. But right now, we've got a lot going on inside our facility at Graziani Reptiles. So in this episode of the Python Hunter, we're going to head on into our facility and take a look at what's going on with our breeding colony of ball pythons. Let's go inside and take a look. It's time for the Python Hunter Question of the Week. What is the record lifespan for a ball python in captivity? Is it 26 years old? 72 years old? or 47 years old? Go ahead and post your answer in the comment section down below and stay tuned for the answer later on in the show. So the first thing I do every morning, come into the breeding facility and check on the breeding females. We want to see who's still breeding, who's ovulating, and who's laid eggs. So let's see what we've got. Currently, we have 182 breeding trays. Approximately 28 of those are males, leaving a little over 150 females in our breeding group. On average, we produce between 75 and 100 clutches a year, but this season may be a record year. We're already at 106 ovulations and counting. Check this out right here. We actually have a female ball python laying eggs right now. Most of the time what you'll find is the mother tightly coiled on her clutch of eggs in the morning. But occasionally there's a straggler and we get to see her actually lay the eggs. This is a beautiful piebald female that was bred to a candy male. This is the start to a long double het project, but I'm really excited about this clutch. You know, seeing a female ball python laying eggs is awesome, but equally as awesome in my book is a female that ovulates in a project you've been working on for a long time. Check this girl out right here. She's in the middle of a massive ovulation. This is an Enchi ghost female. She had plenty of size last year, but didn't produce for us. She is bred to a leopard pastel head ghost. After seeing the leopard ghost and the leopard honeybee produced last year, I can't wait to see an Enchi leopard pastel ghost. Hopefully we hit the odds. You know, I'm really excited about that ovulation right there. Let's take a look at some of the really cool lockups we've had this season that I'm really excited about. Here's a super cinnamon clown male breeding a yellow belly het clown female. Cinnamon yellow belly clowns. Pewter clown male breeding a leopard pastel female. 
lavender albino male breeding a leopard spider. Awesome. Fire orange dream breeding a spinner. Sweet. Super vanilla breeding a leopard firefly. More leopard screams on the way. This is one I can't wait to see. Leopard pasto yellow belly breeding a puma. I hope the leopard will put some crazy pattern on the puma. Only time will tell. You know, those were some really great lockups, and I'm really excited about the potential out of those clutches. But right now, let's take a look at some of the clutches that have already been laid this year. This is a cinnamon ghost bred to a humblebee male. This is her very first clutch, and she's laid seven beautiful eggs. Next, we have a super fire or black eyed leucistic bred to a super leopard pastel piebald. Six eggs from her. I never get tired of watching these females lay eggs. This is a sterling female bred to an ultra male male. And she's given us five nice eggs in this clutch. This is a pastel azanthic sitting on seven nice eggs. She was bred to a super pastel azanthic male. My favorite female of all time is laying eggs right now. This is a magnificent animal. This animal right here is going to be 21 years old in May. And the last three years in a row, she's given me 12 eggs. I don't know how many we're going to get. She's still in the process of laying. Looks like she's already got six or seven eggs out right now. This is also the mother of the very first seven pastel jungles ever produced in captivity. People always ask me if I have a favorite ball python, and they're surprised to find out that my favorite is a normal imported female from Africa. We got her in May of 1993 prior to her first shed. We could still see a portion of her dried umbilical cord on her belly when she arrived. Let's see how many we actually ended up with. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve again. Her clutch of eggs will be taken and put into the egg box for incubation. We use a substrate called perlite to incubate the eggs on. The egg box is then transferred into our incubator, where they will incubate for approximately 57 days. Her babies will hatch out between 80 and 100 grams each, which is pretty large for hatchling ball pythons. Most hatchling ball pythons are around 70 grams when they hatch. She will be 21 years old in May, and this is her 13th clutch. When this clutch hatches, she will have produced 123 babies. It's time to answer the Python Hunter question of the week. What is the record lifespan for a ball python in captivity? The answer is 47 years old. The record was set by a male ball python that resided at the Philadelphia Zoo from April 26, 1945 to October 7, 1992. He was obtained as a young adult male, so his actual age is unknown, but he still holds the record for the longest lived snake. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed
enjoyed that as much as I did. You know, the only thing better than getting all these eggs is when they start hatching. That'll do it for this week's episode of the Python Hunter. Don't forget to follow us on Facebook and Twitter. Go ahead and leave a comment down below. Let us know what you thought about the show. We'll see you next week. Show me where he is, please. Show me where he is, please. He's not. Probably over there watching you now. Yes, he is. Uh, That's what I mean. They stopped us. This is, yeah, he's stopping so you. Keep really the tree between you and the water.